faith in the Lord Jesus without obedience to him is dead, fruitless. Dear friends, this is what many Christians do not want to understand and even in that day will not want to believe they are not welcome into the kingdom of God, which is why they will argue, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will the Lord profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I read in John chapter 14, starting with verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but in know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you yet a little while and the world seed me no more but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judah saith unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. Let no one deceive you. Heed the words of the Lord Jesus before is forever too late. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you.